Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson, which was guess laws. And the exercise that we are doing, it's an exercise that I have taken from a question paper that was written on 21 November 2019. It's question number 9, 9.2, and it reads as follows. A cylinder contains 0 0.208 cubic meters of gas at a pressure of 1,850 kPa and at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature decreases to 2 degrees Celsius while the pressure remains constant. So this is the information that we are given. We are given the volume of the of the gas in the initial phase, the volume, the temperature, and the pressure, and we are given the information of the of the gas in the final phase. We are not given its volume. We are not given its pre. We are given its pressure and temperature. Remember, I said every time when we are dealing with gas laws, your temperature must always be in kelvins and the way you bring it to kelvin it's when you have degrees Celsius, you just add 273 and then this will give you your kelvins and then we come to this okay it's <laughs> it's 20 plus 273 which will give us 293 kelvins and here it's 2 times 273 which will give us 275 kelvins and then now we can use these temperatures never use a temperature that it's in degrees Celsius when you are dealing with gas laws because that won't be correct of course so before we can even continue looking at this information that we are given we know we have two laws we have Boyle's law which says Temperature 1 is equal to temperature 2. And then we have to... Uh, boys, boys. Yeah. And then it's Chelsea's, which says pre pressure 1 is equal to pressure 2. Which Chelsea's. It's, those are the two laws that we have. So, looking at this information, we can tell that the pressure is the same. Meaning, we are dealing with Charles's law. So if they can ask you from this stage, which which law is represented by the information that you are given, you can just go and say it's Charles's law because we know that Charles's law says the the volume of a certain. Okay, we know that in Charles's law, this the pressure will remain the same. Let's not go deep into the explanation. Although you have to know it, the volume of a certain mass of gas it's directly proportional to its temperature provided that the temperature the, the pressure pressure one is equal to pressure two which will give us something like uh divided by t1 is equal to c you must know this and then we go to 9.2 Point one, which is the first question they say determine the following the volume at two degrees here we know it's two degrees Celsius and then here it's uh, 20 degrees Celsius they say determine the volume at two degrees Celsius we know we are dealing with Charles's law therefore what's Charles's law Charles's law stay at V1 divided by T1 at the cost to V2 divided by T2. This one you must know. From the formula P V at the cost to divided by T is equal to P V divided by T. This is two 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 one one one. We are dealing with Charles' law, therefore if you 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 forget how to get this Charles' law, you can just from this formula say I have constant pressure, then remove the pressure. You are only left with this two. And then, what is it that we are looking for? We are looking for this. We make it the subject of the formula, which will give us V1 at times um, T1 
T2 divided by T1. And then what our V1? Our V1 is 0 0.208 times what is our T2? Our T2 is 275 divided by 293, which is our T1. And then this will give us a value of 0 0.195 uh, cubic meters, its volume. And then that's question, the first, question, first part of the question. We go to question number... 9.2.2 they say the pressure if the volume changes to now our volume is changing let's rewrite here they're looking for the pressure calculate the pressure if the volume changes to 0 0.089 now our volume is changing to 0 0.089 we are not using this volume. We are given a new volume. Let's continue. While the temperature remains at 2 degrees Celsius. This, the temperatures remains the same. And then they say, calculate the pressure. Meaning that pressure 2 is no longer this. It's unknown. Calculate the pressure if the volume changes to this. While the temperature remains at this. We must calculate T... P2. Now, looking at this information, notice that we cannot say it's Boyle's law because the temperature is changing. We also cannot say it's pre Charles's law because the temperature is definitely changing. Therefore, I said if you're not told anything about the constant, you use this formula. 111 is equals to P2 V2 divided by T2. We are looking for what? P2. This is our this is what we are looking for. We make it the subject of the formula. We will get the T2 P1V1 divided by T1 times V2. And then this will give uh we substitute T. 2 is 275. P1 it's 1850. And then V1 V1 is 0 0.208. T1 is 293. 293. V2 is 0 0.0. 89 that's cubic meters and then we are going to get our answer as p2 it's equals to 4057 point nine eight two and it's kilo pascal that's our second question and then we Go to our third question. They say, name the type of gas law applied in question number two, in question number 9.22, 9.2.2, and give the reason for your answer. Which law did we use here? Notice that there are no constant in this part of the question. So, 9.2.3 you can just say we have used the combination of Boyle's law and Charles's law it's the combination combination of both Boyle's law and Charles's law and the reason is they are no constant they are no constant values on our question or on our values the, the answer, which type is the combination of the Boyce law and the Charles's law? The reason is because there are no constant values on our, on our information. And 
yeah that's basically the end of our lesson today uh we'll see you on the next lesson <laughs>